me tell you, these babies are not light at 10 feet in the air. Here's a quick update video of the warehouse. You'll get a good idea of where I stand. I still hope to finish it by the end of the month, so the race is on. Okay, this is the layout of the space that I'm gonna make. Okay, I want to do a quick update on where we stand here. Framing is complete. The entry door is right here. That's how you'll enter the room. And yeah, the room turned out pretty big. I'm happy with it. Um, I'm just gonna tap con the walls into the ground now, make sure everything is plumb and level. lifted this first roof joist into place. It's a 16 foot 2x8. Let me tell you, these babies are not light at 10 feet in the air. I got it up there though. I'm gonna fasten, I'm actually not gonna fasten it into place because all the boards are on the other side of this wall. They're gonna be passed up to here and then they'll be slid across the roof over to this side. They'll be fastened over here first and then we'll do one, two, three, four, and they'll be 24 inches on center, so that'll line up with the studs on this wall. Just picked up this ladder, helped me out a little, because this other one that I had was not tall enough. Um, yeah, and I'm gonna have somebody helping me put these roof joists on. I just wanted to see how it looked, make sure there wasn't too much deforming, and uh, make sure that it was actually gonna fit on both ends. There's about an inch and a half that it's sitting on both ends, which is enough according to my calculations. It is a sweltering 95 degrees out today in Gainesville. I'm 10 feet up in this warehouse. Heat is rising. It's extremely hot in here. Just wanted to show you, I just put these angle brackets in. They'll be holding the two by eights that are gonna be the roof joists. So, you basically mount the um, whatever ceiling that you're going to use up to those roof joists and it supports the ceiling. I started placing the insulation. You'll notice that on this one I stapled it all on. I think I'm going to do that for all of them. The insulation has some flaps on it that you can fold out to staple it onto the face of the stud and it creates a better vapor barrier so water can't get in. So I'm going to do that for all of these. It only takes another minute or so, and I think it will help the insulation some. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more update videos. I cannot wait to get some tanks in this room. Have a good one.